I have been following your work closely and I uh, have been quite impressed with uh, the level of achievement that you have demonstrated. So I would like you to talk a little bit more well, about you, you and uh, what's going on right now. Well, what's going on right now? Um, I've come back to the art that I abandoned in my youth. I have to tell you that um, I was one of those people who, from the time I could hold a pencil, I used to sketch the teacher in class whenever <laughs> I get bored. And she'd say, Betsy, what are you doing? Bring that up here. So I'd sheepishly take it up. And the teacher would say, oh, can I have that? At which point I knew I had a little skill there that maybe have a future in this. So I've always enjoyed people. I've always liked to paint people. I've always liked to sketch people. And what I did, um, I studied art in college. And then I went, I worked briefly in advertising, although it was in Washington, D.C. It wasn't a great, big, wonderful job in advertising. And um, briefly, uh, I taught school, high school art for three years. And then I went back to get a master's in fine arts in painting because I wanted to teach on the college level and do serious work. But at the time this was happening, the whole world was interested only in Jackson Pollock, Mark Rothko, <laughs> minimalist. And I, paint, I had to spend one summer painting stripes with Gene Davis in the Washington uh -huh. Color Painters. I used a ton of masking tape and I said, if, if this is art, if it's going here, I'm out of here because I was just not interested. I have nothing against minimalism. I have nothing against Rothko and Pollock and all of these people, but it's not what I wanted to do. It never interested me, never engaged me. 1982, CBS News made me an offer I could not refuse, lured me to the big bad city. I came to New York as the consumer reporter for Channel 2 News, and three months later I was on the CBS Morning News as well, working local and network all throughout the 80s. So it was a big career, big money. Um, I loved interviewing people, putting them in my stories, putting them on television. Um, but then I left it. <laughs> I married someone who could keep me in the style to which I'd never been accustomed. And I wound up abandoning it all and going down and restoring a plantation house in the Caribbean. And did that for 20 years. And um, then the marriage broke up. And I thought, I'm going back to my art. Now is the time. I'm good at doing people. I want to go back and do it. And I ran into Everett Raymond Kinsler, who is a master painter, as well as specializing in portraits. And I ran into him and at an unveiling of one of his paintings and here in New York. How long ago was that? This was six years ago. Six years ago? Six years ago. Wow. That's and he has opened up doors. I went to his workshops. He got me into teaching with really good teachers at the National Academy School of Fine Arts and the Art Students League. I went over to Florence and studied with Mary Beth McKenzie there uh, and came back. Now, what is it now? What are you doing? How you you translate that anxiety, that desire for people, the reinventing process into a painting, ah. like <laughs> uh, this beautiful <laughs> portrait that you have behind you? Thank you, thank you. Well, this is... Um, yeah, this is Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Pike, uh, Jr. He came to the studio and he posed here in full dress uniform, which was really great fun. Uh -huh. and, and we have a portrait within a portrait because we have the, an the antique portrait in the background that's, that is there. And so I call the painting tradition. And it is the military tradition that is, it is exemplified. This is Ambassador Philip Later. And this is a challenging portrait because Bill, who is seen here, I did a big photo shoot of him, but he's, he is the chairman of something called WPP Group, and at the same time, he's the founder of Renaissance Weekends. He's also a, a big deal with Morgan Stanley. He lives on airplanes. He's traveling the world constantly. And so I have to catch him occasionally, which is really kind of rough. I have to fly out to Aspen to meet him at Renaissance Weekend and, and to do a photo shoot there. And, and in February, I, I had to fly out to Santa Monica because he, that's where he was for the weekend. I have very, very little time with him. I've had to be very creative on this one. I had to work from the photos that I took and what I know of him. And I did do a live sketch. I made him sit for me, and I did a live sketch when I was out in Aspen over Labor Day. And 
we got that so at least I could do color sketches and get his eyes seen with my two eyes instead of just a camera. In, a, in something this detailed, I have to lay it in with charcoal. If I were just painting you just a head and shoulders, I wouldn't even do that. I'd just start with the paint because that's easy and fresh and I like it. But it's very easy to get a head too big or the body out of proportion. You've got to map it out on something like this so that you just kind of keep, keep it in. That's proportion. wonderful. What a, what a wonderful overview of uh, the work that you do. You could be the best portrait painter in the world, but if you don't have connections, if you can't paint the right people, you know, there so are, you may become yes. successful, but it's going to take longer until somebody recognizes you. And here I see, I'm very proud of you, because I see you really engage in the work. I see you coming in every day, you know, you're involved, you share your story. Oh, look at this, the new work that I'm doing. And this fascinates me. Thank you so much for, well, you're for most doing welcome. this. welcome. Thank you for inviting me to do it's it. Wonderful. It's a pleasure. Thank and you. I'm enjoying it here. I, I really do. I, I can see the need someday for a much fancier, larger studio, but for right now, we'll, we'll do what this is. When you're ready, we'll take care yeah, of that. I'm sure you will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll help you out. Okay. <laughs>